Today, I am going to show you Tibu products I use every day, or at least a lot of times during the week. All right, this is the first thing I use nearly every day. I purchased this little um, Kleenex thing, but it doesn't really hold the length of a Kleenex. Ours are longer. So I put my washer detergent sheets in here and I use them every time I do laundry. I always put three, unless it's overkill. It might be overkill, I don't know, but I just use three. And then I find that they work really, really well. So I'm gonna keep using them. Right now, as I'm making all of my tissue box covers, I use this Timu bag. It expands in the bottom and it's huge and I use it for all of my yarn. And it's handy and it looks pretty when I store it in my closet. No one knows what's in it, except me. Another thing I use every day, I have several of these that I've purchased to put my phone in and my money when I go to town. And here is my favorite, it's real leather wallet that I got from Timu. And I love it. It holds my money, my cards, my change, and I can take it to town. And it fits in these little crossbodies. And of course, I always have a clip for my hair when it's hot. So these are three more things I use every day that I purchased from Timu. Here's another thing I use every day from Timu. You like this and it loads it up and then you have your soap. And I love it. I use it every day. All right, here's some more things I use every day. My ice. I love this ice tray. They are the perfect size to fit in my bottles. The big old ones won't fit in here and I hate little ice because it melts too fast. This is perfect. I just emptied it and made my drink for today. The other thing I use every night to wash my face. Oh, it feels so good. It has a texture to it. And it's just called clean sponge. And I use it every, to, and it gets off the makeup. Cause you know, sometimes after you get out, you think you wash your face, use the towel and there's makeup on your towel. It didn't wash it good. This washes it perfectly. So two more things I use every day from Temu. Here's something I use every day. My tripod for my filming from Temu. It's a good one. And then I have my little turnstile here that is for all my fingernail polishes and my nail care. And that one's bedazzled because I bought bedazzling sheets and strips that stick for all of that. This one I got for my glasses. These are all my new favorite glasses that I have in this one. Back here is my turnstile, and it has all my favorite things that I need at my fingertips. Tweezers, salt, my mom, material mom stamp, my lipsticks, my magnifying glasses and scissors, all right here. My favorite lipstick, my cream right here. Oh, sorry my hair color in case I need a little sweet treat. Here's my sucker. Or if Ezra comes, I'll give it to him. A fork, my permanent marker, my back scratcher. My, do you use these from Timu to scrape out your makeup from the very bottom of the jar? Love it. I have to know where that is at all times. So, pencils and pens. So here it is at my desk. So I use them every day. I don't know how I lived without them before I had Timu.
another thing I use every day. Oh, my material and subscribe, material mom and subscribe signs. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe because you know what? I have a drawing coming up. When I reach 6,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a giveaway of a Victorinox knife, my favorite, favorite knife, and an apron that is, I demonstrated yesterday, that is homemade and it doesn't have any ties or any strings or buttons. You just slip it over your head and it's wonderful. But here's the thing I love so much that I use every day. This was a from Timu box. It has the UBS, it lights up right here. Although I tend to not like the light. Three different powers to the light. And this comes up for your brushes. And then it's big enough to fit everything in. What else do I use every day? Here we go. I use this Botox lotion. I put it on under my makeup and look how wonderful it's working. Now I see a lot of women that start at my age. I'm 69, December's my birthday. I'll be 70. All right, but that's good because what's the alternative? Death. I don't want to be dead, so I'll be happy. All right, right here on the cheeks, you know how that those lines start in? I'm starting to get them right here. I rub it in right there really good. And then the lines right here because, you know, I don't have too many smile lines because I guess I haven't smiled much. My forehead... I don't know. Put it there, too. Hillary gets Botox in her forehead. She has real creases there. She must get it from her father, not me. And then I rub the rest into my nose. They say your noses grow the older you get. So maybe my nose needs it. So I rub it in there. All right. The next thing I use is... Um, Sometimes I do have uh, my face makeup from Timu, but right now I don't have any in here because the nozzle didn't work. And so I have it laid out over there for Jamie to fix. And then I forget to get him to fix it. I use some other product. I use some other product like this that I like. I've seen some people put their I make up on first without even putting their foundation stuff on. I never did that. Okay. I have a mirror right here. So I don't have to use the camera as my mirror. All right. I timed it one time. It takes me 10 minutes to put makeup on. Now, why can't I do that? Well, I do that every day. Ten minutes. You can, uh, you can allow ten minutes for yourself. This is darker, so I'm trying to use it up during the summer when I'm a little darker. And my hairline, because remember my granddaughter told me, Grandma, your hairline makeup. Okay, so I go up in there. I'm not going anywhere today. But I still put on makeup every day because I feel better. Like I'm, okay, now I can, if anybody drops over, not embarrassed. If anybody comes to get me and says, let's go. Like the other day. Trevor. He was going to Logan to get that corn. And I thought, wait, I need to go there to get a new wash, I mean a new stove. So he said, do you want to go? We're leaving in 20 minutes. I was game. I was ready to go. I just had to get my purse. This is the one from Timu that I usually use. Let's see what color it is. See, I use it too. I don't know if it's lighter or darker. It's probably the same. 
Either one is good for me. So I use that from Timu every day. Okay, what else do I use from Timu every day? This. Blush. Smear on blush. You can use it for lipstick too. So go ahead, smear it everywhere that might make you look better. Maybe if you like pink eyeshadow. Frankly, if I use pink eyeshadow, I feel like it looks like I've been crying. You can hear my fan over there. It's kind of overcast, but it's gonna be hot today. My Timu, I have two favorite eyeshadows from Timu. This one, you can tell I've been using it. And it's called Black. And this one. So, see, I have hooded eyes. So what I do is I come over here and put my eyeshadow right here. Not in the eyebrow area. That was a goof. That was a goof. Just like right here. And then it looks like I have an eyelid better. Because if I put it on my eyelid and I open my eye, I used to just put it color on my eyelid. Then I opened my eye and it would disappear. And my daughter-in-law that used to be my best friend and then my son divorced her. And she told me one time, if you're watching, hi, Heather. Uh, she told me one time, Angela, you need to wear your makeup eyeshadow higher. So I said, okay, I will. Thanks, Heather, for that tip. That was before we had YouTube that told you how to put makeup on with hooded eyes. Then I go over here to this light color to put up here because I got to have a definition of eyebrows. Then I want my eyelids to show up a lot. So then I put light on my eyelids because then if they might be open, they might be seen. Otherwise you never see my eyelids. Because a true artist knows that dark puts in, light brings out. Dark, you know, makes it go in the shadows. Light brings out. So if you're an artist, you know that. Hope that's right. All right, then I go to over here to my brushes. Are you timing me yet? Okay. Put a little eyeliner under here. Timu. Not particular about the eyeliner, this kind. I can either use this kind, the roll-up kind. I have that kind too. And then my eyebrow pencil, because you must bring out your eyebrows. Not too dark, just a little. And for this, I need my, and you notice, all my bedazzling from Temu and my eyebrow pencil. Now you might ask, how come you don't have, oh look, here's a white hair, a white eyebrow. Do you pluck them? If you start plucking them, you might not have any more. I leave the brush off of this end because it's a 50-50 chance, which lid you're going to pull off and get the right thing. So I only put the lid on this end. I leave the lid off on this end so I can see where to pull the lid off. Otherwise, every time I pulled it off, it was on the brush side, not the makeup side. And that just annoyed me. And I was like, I can't take it anymore. Why can't I ever 50-50 chance to do it right? Sometimes I mark them, but it didn't matter if the brush is exposed all the time. You're supposed to have an arch. My mother had the perfect arch, but I don't really have an arch. I wanna go get him tattooed, but not really. But I've seen so many mistakes with that tattooing. So I'm scared too. And my daughter, she found somebody and then she found another person. Oh, this person's good too. And 
but I just, and it's $400, so much, I think. Okay, next, my eyeliner. Not Temu. I just, because I like liquid eyeliner. I don't know why. It's what I'm used to. Okay. Yeah, you can't talk when you're doing this. Because I do not want to do over. I was going to say I'm not an expert. Maybe I am. I've been doing it for 50 years. But we used to do makeup different. Remember, we had the blue and the green eyeshadows. And then your eyelids look like garage door opener, garage doors. I heard that once. And some people can be really artistic and put on all that colors and glitter. Then I heard that when you're old, you're not supposed to put glitter eyeshadow on your eyelids because it shows your lines more. And that is true. I used to go to shop at this store that we had here. It was called King's. I loved King's. They went out. The whole company went out of business. Thanks, Walmart. I'm sure it was Walmart that did it. And this is my favorite, favorite mascara. And it's called Essence Lash on Amazon. Timu has one and it looks like it, but it's not the same. Do not order Timu's. You will get disappointed. This, why, somebody asked me, why do you like it? It's like thicker. And you can see it on there, how thick it is. And it just sticks to my eyelashes and finds them all. It finds eyelashes I didn't know I had. See? Now, if you really care, you can use a curler, iron, I mean, a curling, and a, do several coats. When we were in high school, we would get baby powder and put on our eyelashes and then put the mascara on. But since nobody's looking at me, except for everyone watching, my husband, he doesn't care. He doesn't even care if I wear makeup. Just hurry up and come on. He just wants me to be a Russian. When we go shopping, when we go anywhere, I tell him, stop trying to make me a Russian. I'm not. Okay, I already put the blush on my lips, but I want to show you this. Remember, my mom always would put lipstick on them. I don't ever do that. All right. Are my lips chappy, flaky? Now that I found out I like this lipstick, and you know another reason why I like it, because now that I have new teeth, I don't care if people notice my lips more, because my teeth are good. Now, as you see, this color is not this color you put on. Go figure. I don't know why, but... Make sure you don't get on your teeth. Check your teeth. I like checking my teeth now. Getting used to them better. Okay. So I ordered another one of these. And they're like six bucks. I don't like this chain hanging around. But I can take it off. I could use it for an ankle. A rose gold ankle bracelet. But I don't need it. Anyway, I don't put it in here. Because I might use it later in the day. Okay, so then I close my Timu makeup box. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're still alive. Should I leave that in or to get it out? I kind of want to leave it in because, you know, it's what life is. Full of bloopers. Okay. And then I just zip it up. Now, I'm not taking this whole thing to any place. But if I had to, I would grab this and run. The, you know, tidal wave came or the 
earthquake, we had to get out of the house fast or whatever, then I would. But normally I will take all the makeup out and put it in my travel one when I use it. Now my perfume, I use my perfume and smooth this out. And then I put some right here because, you know, mm, I just love it. And I bought the real one and I like this. They don't quite smell exactly the same. And the real one, of course, lasts longer. But this gives me a zip for the day. Next, what do I do? I kind of curl these. I don't know. If, when it's a hot day, I kind of just, and here's my Timu braid that I wrapped around here. And it makes it like I'm a queen for the day. It feels like a crown. It's kind of heavier. But I'm not a queen for the day or any day because I'm going to cook another show for you for tomorrow. So stay tuned. It's the easiest meal you could possibly make. Well, maybe not. There might be easier ones, like going and buying your food. But we don't eat out much. I don't like to spend the money. I'm cheap. No, this is a zucchini, another zucchini recipe. I think I'll take a few hairs out here. Now see right here, they tell you to do this. Here's another Timu product I love. And right here, they say if you have skin showing through your hair, it makes you look older. Now look how I look younger already. And right here. And I ordered another one of these too. Because I want to take a full one. I'm going to be gone a month on my cruise. And at the end of the cruise, I'm going to be needing a hair dye bath. But Amy and I both are in the same position. We're going to get little bottles and put amount of hair dye and then the other thing, and then we can carry him on the cruise with us. The hair dye to do on the cruise after two weeks, the root touch up. Cause heaven forbid, we don't want those cruise people to think, oh, she's old. Nobody's looking at me, nor do they care what I look like. You never see those people ever again. I never did anyway. I never got friends with people on a cruise as much. Said hi to them maybe. Complimented them. Oh, I like your swimsuit or something. But it's kind of funny because you can tell people who shopped, especially for the cruise, and they have these cruise chiffon clothes like you see in a movie or something. But that's not reality. What would my main su suggestion for cruise clothes? Comfort. Because that is like your home on the sea. Just dress in comfortable clothes. Don't buy all new that you've never worn before and take them. Because you don't know if you're going to like those clothes. Comfort is the main thing. And this is my other favorite thing that Timu doesn't sell it. All right. Those are a few of my Timu morning, everyday morning chores, my Timu bracelet. I'm gonna put that on because you know, the more the better. Okay, there. I have my Moissanite earrings, two pair that I just wear all the time and I never take them off because it's easier. And my necklace, this is Moissanite from Timu. T this is not, this is Amazon and this is that gift from my wonderful friend that sent it to me. That was so nice of her, and I think of her every time I wear it. And this is the sign of the otter, who is known to be friendly, talented, I don't remember what it was, but it fit me perfect. And these are my glasses that I got a long time ago. But they don't go photo gray. So they don't go to sunglasses. And my Timu cloths, these are glass cloths. See the fish, they're called fish cloths that I use because they are wonderful. And I bought like 10 of them and I gave them to Carolyn. I gave them to 
Amy, I give them to people. Shout out to Amy. Shout out to David. Shout out to Aaron. Shout out to Brittany. Shout out to Shauna and Lisa. Those are my family members. That's why I remember their name. Okay. Here we go. And I have another announcement for the winner that I will be uh, mailing packages tomorrow. Are you still watching? If you're not watching, you're not going to get to hear the winners. Elizabeth. Oh, I already named her in New Jersey. She won, she won that patchwork one. Um, and Gina Harris, a pink one. She got two pink ones because she paid me to make them for her. Um, Charlie Joe in California, a blue one. Rhonda Gore in Washington, a white one. And Ernst, I don't know how you say that name. New Hampshire, a blue one. So those are the September winners because we're in September now. <sighs> September, the time flies. And now I'm working on one. Trevor took that one I made him to school and a teacher loved it so much. So she said, will your mom make me one? I'll pay her 20 bucks. So, well, she didn't say 20. Trevor said, how much would you make it for? I don't have to mail it. So I said 20. So she wants it white or black with the white top because her room, she puts it in, it's going to be black and white. So I said, yes. All right, here's another thing I did on Timu. See the back of my mirror here? It was horrible, like a white, dirty gold. It had stickers on it and stuff. This is black contact paper I had from Timu. So I put it on the backs of those mirrors and so it looks much better. I wanna do my whole, this whole wall black. But then my hair won't show up probably. And Jamie would have a fit if I painted it black. He'd have a fit. So I will, I was gonna just get that. Maybe I'll get a black plastic bag. <laughs> that will be shiny. Okay, I gotta hold up my sign for a thumbnail. But I do have a few more things. Oh, oh, I just got a paper cut. I hate paper cuts. How do people be cutters and cut themselves? Ugh, look, I'm bleeding right there. Don't ever do that again. All right, here it is. The Timu sign. This is going to be my thumbnail. Maybe. Okay. I have to check my teeth. Don't want any lipstick on them. And guess what happened? I'm so sad. <sighs> the light that Hillary gave me back here, Material Mom, my light, I can't get it to turn on anymore. And I know Erin on Hey Everybody, it happened to one of hers too. But this is a different kind of cord because it's, a round cord that plugs in to a box. No, it plugs in. Excuse me, I'm getting this. I'll show you. It plugs into this thing. My fan fell. My fanfare fell. My fan fell. Don't fall over again. And so you plug this in. Okay, let's make sure it's all plugged in. That has electricity to it. And then here is the, the switch. And it's blue, so it's getting electricity. This doesn't work. I think it has to do with this thing. A short in it. So anyway, I'm very sad, but I ordered another one. Not like it, because I don't know where she got hers. But I ordered another, Timu has them, so I ordered another one from Timu. But I can't order any more now from Timu, nothing more, because I'm gonna be gone for weeks. And um, it will not, no one to get my packages, so I'm not ordering any more. So I figure I'll be saving a lot of money. 
I don't order any packages for a month. No, when I get to Australia, I'm gonna start ordering. And I, we're gonna be in Australia for four, five nights. Then I'll start ordering, so then they will be here soon. I'm gonna do the math and figure it out. So I'll have some shows to do when I get home because I know you're gonna be, all my subscribers are gonna be like, oh no, I don't remember her. No, forget about me. Don't forget about me. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few more Timu products. <laughs>